When conducting research, it is important to make sure you are doing so properly and ethically. When psychologists conduct research, they are attempting to find links between circumstances, like being in a hot room, to behaviors, like acting aggressively. At least one of the events being studied must be measurable. Another important thing for researchers to consider is that humans are variable. One person may react differently than another. Whether the design of your study be qualitative or quantitative, these are the most important things to consider when conducting research. Besides conducting research properly, researchers are required to follow a set of ethical guidelines. After human rights violations, such as the experiments exposed at the Nuremberg War Trials, Milgram's Obedience Experiment, and the Tuskegee Syphilis Study, the National Commission for the Protection of Human Subjects in Biomedical and Behavioral Research was formed. This commission created the Belmont Report in 1979, which established three basic ethical principles to follow when doing research. These principles include respect for persons, beneficence, and justice. Besides the Belmont Report, there are 83 ethical standards to be upheld in the American Psychological Association's 2002 Code of Conduct. Some of these principles include beneficence and non-maleficence, fidelity and responsibility, integrity, justice, and respect for all people's rights and dignity. Besides these ethical guidelines, researchers are required to obtain informed consent from all participants. This means that participants are informed of all the risks that might be associated with the study before consenting to participate. While strict guidelines have been put in place to protect participants from the risks of research, the waters can still be murky when conducting research today. For example, a study conducted by Kramer et al. collected data on and attempted to alter the mood of thousands of Facebook users without the users ever even knowing it. Not only was informed consent not received, but the principle of fidelity and responsibility was clearly violated in that no trustful relationship was established. This study could also potentially violate the principle of beneficence. As Kramer himself stated, in hindsight, the research of this paper may not have justified all this anxiety. Researchers attempt to find links between circumstances and behaviors, and they must do so in an orderly way so that their conclusions are considered valid, and in a way where those who they are studying are not put at risk. Next time you're conducting research, be sure you are doing so properly and while following ethical guidelines.